right, boys, so we're back on Roblox Blocks Fruits. And boys, before this video even starts, if you guys want to see more Blocks Fruits videos on this channel, just like this one, leave a like and subscribe. Let's see if we can get 1,000 likes on this video. But okay, boys, today we are going to be doing something crazy. I'm going to be investigating 30 different myths and secrets in Blocks Fruits. And we're going to figure out if these myths or secrets are actually true or if they're fake freaking news, bro. You're faking a fraud. But all right, myth number one requires us to go to the first sea. So let me go ahead and uh, talk to this sea captain really quick. I can take you back to the main world. Would you like to go? Yes. All right, there we go. We are now on the first sea. Let me go ahead and hop in my boat really quick. And let me go ahead and make my way to this island right here so that I can find a little secret room and uh, activate a fighting style called Dark Step. And we need this because myth number one is that if we use a dark step move on the portal to the underwater world area, it completely glitches out your game. So let me go ahead and hop right back in my boat and make my way to the underwater world. All right, there's the portal. All right, I guess it's called a whirlpool. Uh, I am a freaking goober, bro. Which, by the way, if you like this little UGC item I have on my head right here that says goober, then check it out, boys. It is my newest UGC that I just released. But okay, let's go ahead and test this out. I think that what we need to do is use flying kick right into the portal and it's i think it's supposed to glitch us out all right jump up here aim and go boom all right is, did it glitch us out did we glitch um uh, wait what the jump bro it didn't work all right is the boss in here the boss is in here you know what i'm gonna take out my frustration on you get over here let me piece you up really quick you freaking goober i'm taking out my anger on you and bop there <laughs> there we go but all right hold on i'm gonna show you guys what it was supposed to do yeah bro this is what was supposed to happen when i did it look at this this man just starts flying everywhere. So look at that. We busted another YouTuber's video, bro. That myth is busted. But all right, let's go ahead and go back to the main world and move on to the second myth, which is if you use Mink V3 Leopard and the Pilot Helmet, you become the fastest that you can possibly become in this game. But boys, there's one little problem. I don't have Mink V3 yet, bro. That's, that's one that I just uh, have not gotten yet. So I got my buddy X Furry to help me out with this. All right, ow, ow. What the junk? Don't call me that. Why do you have ears and a tail then? <laughs> hey, hey, hey! All right, Demon, do you have Mink V3, Leopard, and the pilot helmet equipped? Bro, what are you doing? Bro, I'm just taking a nap. I'm just taking Dude, a nap. Stop! Stop, I'm trying to nap. Bro! Wait a minute. All right, okay, all right. So we're going to race to the other side of the arena. I don't think that this can be light, but uh, all right, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh, no way. No way. Bro, did you beat me? <laughs> that is overpowered. All right, well, it looks like that myth is proven as a fact. Well, thank you, X Furry, for the help. I appreciate it. Bruh. All right, come no! here. All right, but let's go ahead and move on to the next myth. And that myth is if you use the chop fruit, apparently no sword ability can damage you. So let me go ahead and go into my inventory, change my fruit to uh the chop fruit. There we go. Oh, we gotta buy it. You would like to buy it. what why why is that bleeped out? Alright, well, anyways, okay, we bought it. Alright, let's see. Will this dude's sword hurt me? Will his sword hurt me? Hey! Hey! Oh yo, why is that kind of sick? Why is that kind of sick? Well, that myth is proven to be a fact. The next myth is that apparently with the Buddha fruit, you can get ranged hacks. So let me try this out. So let me go ahead and equip my Buddha fruit really quickly. There it is. Let's go. And apparently if you go into big Buddha boy mode like this, but then you unshift and you click your fighting style at the same time, apparently you have like insane range. Yo, 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 dude, it actually worked. I thought that this only worked with like swords, but I guess you could even do it with this. Look at this. I'm not even close to him. I'm literally not even close to him. All right. Well, there we go. Another myth proven as fact. Hey, guys, you never know. By watching this video, you're going to find out some very interesting knowledge. Comment down below if you know any myths and comment what those myths are in this game. And also make sure to hit that subscribe button. I think 80 or 90% of you guys are still not subscribed yet. But all right, let's go ahead and move on to the next myth, which is if you use your F ability with Venom, you run super fast if you're low health. That is uh, oddly specific. All right, well, you know what? Looks like we're going to have to pull out our Venom fruit. All right, so this is the normal speed right here. This is the normal speed. It's 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 uh, it's actually kind of slow. I'm not gonna lie, bro. That was really slow. But okay, now I'm gonna let this scientist goober start beating me up. And uh, once we get low health, I'm gonna see if I can actually fly faster than that because uh, maybe it will work. Let's see if it's factor cap. All right, no, 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 
No! Bro, I freaking died to an NPC. No! <laughs> All right, we have a thousand health. Let's see if we're any faster. Oh, wait. Oh, that's definitely faster. Yo! All right, well, that myth is a fact. Okay, but anyways, let's move on to the next myth, which is apparently if you hold your V ability for a super long time with bomb fruit, it does the most amount of damage out of anything in the game. But okay, let's go ahead and uh, buy the bomb fruit with Robux. All right, but let's go ahead and eat this bomb fruit really quick. Bloxford's mob activated. All right, so as you can see, I have this self-destruct move, and I think that this is the move that does the most damage in the game, according to this myth. I think that the most damage I've seen a move do is like six or 7,000 damage. So if it's more than that, it actually might be. But I don't think I've ever used the bomb for V ability before. So let's go check this out on this little goober over here. All right, let's go ahead and uh, start charging it up. Uh, yo, we're losing health. All right, three, two, one boom oh dude nine thousand damage that's that's crazy bro that's actually crazy all right boys but we have now made it to the third c and this next myth is that the paw fruit z move has the most range in the game so let me go ahead and go into my fruits and equip my paw fruit there we go block fruit's paw activated okay let's see if we can even hit that guy over there all right so here's the z move let's see i'm gonna click right on him boom Wait, did that hit him? I don't even know if that hit him or not. What? Wait, hold on. Let me try that again. Uh, Z move, go. Hit him. Wait, what the junk? All right, let me see if I can hit that guy for whatever. Okay, so boom. All right, so it explodes on him, but it doesn't do any damage. He's got a paw print on him. Okay, it might be the longest ranged attack that actually hits, but it does no damage. So, uh, I feel like this myth is busted. But okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next myth, which is there is apparently a secret frog room in cafe, which is over here. So let me go ahead and get to cafe really quick so we can investigate this. All right, I know there's like a chess board in the basement. I've played chess way too many times in this game on that freaking chess board. So let's check this out. Okay, so we got to move this, go down here. And then I know that there's a chess board right here, which I do, guys, I love chess. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm a freaking goober. <laughs> But this room right here is apparently where the frog room is. Now, how do you even get in there? Oh, yo, hold up. Wait, that's a that's a completely green room. I don't know if you guys see that. How do I get in here? Can I barrage my way into it? Can I overheat my way into it? I think that there is a frog room back here, though. Wait, just look. Like, if I go, if I look through this door. Yeah, that's definitely a frog room, bro. What? Bro, I want to get back there. One day later. All right, guys, I tried everything. I Look, like, apparently, if you, if you, like, back into it, and then you flash step, you can get in. But I can't figure out how to get in. So if you guys know how to get in that frog room, if you've known about this frog room and you didn't tell me what, what the, the junk. But you should totally comment down below how I can get in there. Because uh, I tried and I could not figure it out. But okay, boys, I think that it is time for us to move on to the next myth, which is the legendary hockey does more damage than normal colored hockey. So let's go ahead and go back here and change our hockey color. All right, so these are the three legendary colors. So let me enable the snow white color. And let's see how much damage this one does. All right, how much damage? That's 1,146. Okay. So now let's go equip a regular one and see if it does the same amount of damage. All right, I'm going to equip this slimy green one. All right, so unequip this and equip the new one. There we go. All right, the amount of damage is four was like 1,446. Let's see what this one is. Uh, nope. And yep, that myth is busted. They do the exact same amount of damage. But okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next myth and that myth is actually gonna require me to make my way back to the first c but okay for this next myth i need an item that i don't have a lock yet and that item is gonna be located on this ship this haunted ship over here all right so let me go ahead and go in this door right here and then we need to talk to this little goober right here would you like to trade 25 ectoplasm for a bizarre bizarre rifle what okay there we go we got it. I, I i said that terribly wrong uh as you can see we now have this brand new weapon which is actually a rare gun so let's equip this and let's do this next myth all right but now that i have my bizarre rifle it is time to test out this next myth which is the bizarre rifles f ability has aimbot so apparently i don't even have to aim at people with this weapon uh let's test this out all right i know there's npcs over here let's let's see which one of these goobers will be uh the person that i murder all right here we go so the normal shot if you shoot to the side of them all right yeah it missed i didn't hit them but then obviously if i want to shoot him in the in the face then uh boom 
boom. But okay, apparently, let's 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 aim like I'm gonna aim like way over here. If I click Z and I and I shoot, <laughs> dude, it does have a bot. Yo, I bet. All right, well, what if I aim for like that tree? Will it work? Oh, <laughs> it worked. All right, well, that myth is proven to be fact. But let's move on to the next bit. All right, apparently if you change your settings to click to move, uh, it will make you jump extremely high. So hold on, uh, let me see, settings. What is it, movement mode, keyboard, mouse, click to move. Okay, there we go. Wait, why isn't it working? I'm clicking my mouse, nothing is happening. Wait, what? I'm so confused. All right, I think I might have gotten trolled on this one because this one this one is just a freaking myth, bro. I can't even click to move to begin with. So that myth is busted. All right, but let's move on to the next myth, which is... All right, and the next myth is that if you drop a fruit in the ocean, the random event chance for you to get an event in the ocean like a sea beast or pirate goes up. All right, so what I'm going to do to test this out is I'm going to hop in a boat. And now I'm going to drive around and see how long it takes for a sea beast to spawn in the game. And then what I'll do is after a sea beast spawns, I will, uh, I'll drop a fruit in the ocean and see if that uh, causes the sea beast to spawn quicker. All right, I will be back and I will tell you how long it takes uh, once I find one. All right, an event has spawned and it has been, what, five minutes of me driving around. Okay. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a fruit and I'm going to drop it in the ocean. And we're going to see if... Uh, uh, if it spawns in even quicker. Okay, ow. And boys, while I run back to the cafe, it's time to test out the next myth really quick. Guys, if you leave a like on this video, uh, apparently it gives you insane fruit luck. Uh, and if you subscribe, you know, it gives you insane fruit luck. So let me go ahead and, uh, and roll a fruit. I'm obviously subscribed to myself. All right, random fruit. Bye. And uh, uh, whoa, guys, it's such a good fruit. All right, well, that myth was busted. But you should subscribe anyway. I think 80 or 90% of you guys are still not subscribed. And if you like videos like this, hit that subscribe button. But okay, it's time to go drop this bomb fruit in the ocean. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plop this in the ocean. Blop, there it goes. Oh, uh, it just, bro, freaking bounce. All right, and let me go ahead and jump in another boat. And the timer is starting now. A few moments later. Yo, no way. Bro, I literally spawned within a minute of me going. Dude, this myth might actually be fact. I thought this one would definitely be fake, but I literally just drove from there to here and these pirate things already spawned. That's crazy. So you know what? That myth is proven to be <gasps> fact. All right, ow. All right, but let's go ahead and move on to the next myth. I am under the water. Please help me. You're too much raining. <laughs> All right, boys, the next myth is that if you're using rubber fruit, uh, you can't take damage from rumble users. And if that's the case, that actually might make rubber, like, a lot more overpowered than what I thought it was. Because, uh, uh, to be honest, rubber in this game, compared to the One Piece anime, it, it's kind of trash. But okay, let me go ahead and get one of my friends in the server so that he can attack me with the rumble fruit. And let me go ahead and eat this rubber fruit that's being very sus right now. Um, okay, stop. You can stop now. <laughs> Blocks root rubber activated. All right, so I have a little goober here now. Mr. Noob, wait, what is his shirt, bro? Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna say, okay, hit me with rumble. Come on, hit me, go. Wait. No, wait, it actually does no damage. All right, bro, that, that is, look at this. I can literally do damage to him, but he can't do damage to me. What's up, buddy? Come here. Well, I guess that myth is proven to be fact. We, we did not bust that myth, bro. That's actually overpowered. That's kind of sick. All right, all right, all right. I get, I get it, I get it. All right, I know. And boys, this next myth is gonna require me to go to the third sea. All right, Captain, take me to the third sea. So apparently there is like a secret room on the Turtle Island that I've literally never seen before. Okay, and apparently by like a mushroom like that, if you hit the wall, apparently it'll like collapse the wall and there's like a secret chest. Uh, yeah, well, I'll be the judge of that. I'm just gonna start smacking random areas with my moves and seeing if there's like a secret wall anywhere by a mushroom. All right, let's smack the wall. Uh, yep, nothing happened. Okay, let's find a different mushroom. Please, secret room. No! All right. Maybe it's over here. Let me smack that. Um, hey! All right, hold up. Bruh, what is this? Bro, that's so weird. That's, uh, dude, I've literally never seen this before. Okay. Can I click on it? Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear that. I'm clicking. Nothing's happening. Uh, I don't know what this chest is for, but uh, I guess this myth is proven to be fact. I, I thought I was, like, gonna search this whole island for, like, a half hour and find nothing, and I literally found it almost, like, right away. Maybe there's a lot more hidden secrets in this game that I don't know about. Comment some down below if uh, you think I don't know about any. All right, the next myth is apparently you can have two hotkeys activated at the same time. I know, th this sounds like a really weird one, and it doesn't really make much sense at all, but uh, I think that I would be able to do this. 
this. But okay, let's go ahead and go down here. Oh, that's titles. Okay, so we should go over here. There we go, color specialist. But okay, I think what you need to do is go ahead and activate your hotkey. And as you can see, I have the multicolored hotkey. And then you're going to need to change your hotkey color. And of course, you already know, we're going to do some uh, slimy green because, you know, we're a freaking uh, a freaking zombie, bro. Which, by the way, you already know, boys. Hit that subscribe button, bro. Help me get to 300,000 subscribers. Actually, by the time this video gets out, we might already have 300,000 subscribers, which if we do a uh, W, that, that, is, that is an amazing W. Thank you, boys. But okay, now that we do that, let's go ahead and pull out our swords. And there we go. We have two different hotkeys. You can see that our, we have our green hotkey on our swords, and we have our regular multicolored hotkey on our actual avatar. All right, but let's move on to the next myth. And apparently, guys, uh, there is a way to uh, become <laughs> something pretty crazy. Apparently, you can turn into a diamond skeleton without even changing your avatar. So what we're going to need to do is get this reviver right there. Fruit added to backpack. Let's go ahead and munch this up really quick. Go ahead and eat this. Yum. There we go. Blocks fruit revive activated. And a lot of you guys actually tell me that I should use this fruit more often because I'm a zombie. And uh, uh, if you think I should make a video on becoming a zombie with the revive fruit, comment down below the word goober. Okay, but this there is essentially just saying that you can become a skeleton with diamonds. You can become a diamond skeleton without even changing your avatar. So what you're going to want to do is use your resurrection move, resurrection activated. Next time you die, you will be revived at 50% health. So that, now uh, let's go ahead and spawn in a boss so that it can murder us. Take me out. Take me out. Murder me. There we go. And I become a skeleton. Oh, yo, this is sick, bro. Yo, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I actually kind of like this look. But okay, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and open this up. Or wait, hold on. Actually, we could just probably find a diamond fruit that I have in my inventory. Do I have a diamond fruit? Hey, we do have a diamond fruit. All right, let's go ahead and munch this up. Let's go ahead and eat this. Yum, yum, yum. Come here. Blocks for diamond activated. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to go ahead and use the encrust move. And there we go, bro. We became a diamond skeleton. This myth is not a freaking lie. This myth has been proven to be a true myth. By the way, shout out to X Demon for giving me some of these myths, bro. All right, but moving on to the next myth. Apparently, there is a way to roll for multiple fruits in the second C. So you already know, we're going to make our way back to the second C so that we can test out this myth. Okay, boys, we have made it to the second C. And uh, let's go ahead and try to roll these two different fruits. And boys, if this actually works, this is going to be actually insane. Okay, so apparently, first, what you're going to want to do is go talk to the Blocks Fruits Gotcha. Go Go ahead and roll a fruit just a random fruit and buy what did we get bro we got a freaking smoke fruit we better get a, a better second fruit from this other way that we can get a fruit i hope that this works you know what we're, we're gonna go ahead and drop this on the floor because it's worthless okay but apparently if you go over here to the other side of this big mountain just right beside where the cafe is and you go inside this secret door right here there is apparently a way that you can roll another fruit by going up to this dog house woof woof bro you want to buy a physical kilo fruit for 97 Robux. You can trade it to that noob scientist for a special microchip. Sure. You know what? We'll, we'll do it. We're, we're going to buy a kilo fruit, I guess. Okay, I don't. maybe this myth doesn't work. Oh, yo. We literally got a kilo fruit. Okay. We got freaking smoke and we got a kilo fruit. Oh, bruh. Okay, so technically this one is a true, but at the same time, I mean, you get a freaking kilo fruit. So, uh, this one is an L and I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, this, this myth is busted. Oh, I, I accidentally turned around. Oops. But okay, since this myth was busted, we need to make this up and we need to try to find a different myth that is actually insanely overpowered in block fruits. But hold on. Well, what if we go ahead and eat this kilo fruit? Yummy. <laughs> Yummy. Let me go ahead and, and, and go smash and go smash and go smash. All right. So for the next myth, we're going to need to go to the docks because apparently we can pick up boats with the control fruit. That is what the next myth is. Now let's go over to this dock right over here and let's go ahead and spawn. Uh, we'll, we'll spawn the biggest boat that I can spawn. We'll, we'll spawn the swan boat. There we go. Apparently, if you use control area, uh, it, it will launch a boat. Wait, is it is it gonna work? Oh, yo! Yo! Bro, we just destroyed that boat! Yo, that is sick. I'm not even gonna lie. I actually was uh, not expecting that one to work. I did not think that the control fruit was going to be able to freaking launch a boat in this game, bro. That is crazy. But okay, boys, that myth right there is, uh, that, that myth is actually true. That myth is a fact. It is not a cap. All right, boys, but now as you see, I'm back in the third seat. And boys, this next myth, uh, apparently, uh, if you two people use dough, uh, at the same time, I think it's the C move, the moves cancel out. So let me get my friend in the server and, uh, test out this next myth. <laughs> <Rawr>. <laughs> 
What? Okay, go ahead and activate your uh go ahead and activate your doe uh move, your awakened doe move set. Dude, oh my gosh, you almost just murdered me. I'm not gonna lie, that literally just buzzed right through my face. Bro, what is this white stuff dripping all around you? What what what, what are you doing? What dude, what what is going on? Okay, on the count of three, are you ready? No! Alright, too bad. Three, two, one, you see, go! Wait, oh, oh. Here. stop, stop, stop. <laughs> wait, wait, no, you come wait, here. Wait, what, wait, what, what? Wait, hold on, is this myth busted? Hold on, we're gonna try this again. Bro, don't make me dull all over you, because I will. Dude, you could never dull on me. You have horrible aim. Bruh! All right, use your C move on the count of three. One, two, three, go. All right, will it work? Oh, oh, oh. oh. no, oh. did it work? <laughs> Yo, we took no damage. Yo, bro, that, that's sick, but it doesn't change the fact that I'm about to dough all over you. Oh, bet. Say come less. Here. Come oh. here, you little goober. Come here. Come here. Come here. What? You don't like it when yeah. I dough all over you, huh? You don't like it when I dough all over you? All right, you know what? You know oh, what? Oh, wait, did we, we do it again? again. Did we do we it again, it. dude? That's we literally it. didn't mean to do it that time. That's crazy. Ah. No, how'd that not hit? Oh, I won! I won! I don't all over you. Oh, I'm gone. I'm leaving the game. Goodbye. No, don't leave the game. <laughs> Bro, you left the game. All right, but let's move on to the next myth, which is higher level accounts have better fruit luck. So some people think that, that just because they're a high level account, that they have a better chance of rolling a good fruit. So we're going to test that out. I'm going to get on an alt account that uh, has not rolled a fruit yet. And then I'm going to get on a noob account and I'm going to roll it for, I'm going to see what account gets a better fruit fruit when they roll it from the fruit dealer okay boys so i joined an account where i trolled players as a as a fake npc and uh this account is a level 1511 and uh, we're gonna go ahead and spin a fruit and we're gonna see we're gonna see if uh, this account has better luck than uh, an account that has like a level zero so, okay let me see what this blocks fruits gotcha will give me we'll see if this is actually gonna give me a good fruit would you like to buy a random fruit bye oh my gosh yo we we got a dark fruit <laughs> okay maybe maybe there's some truth to this let's go ahead and uh go ahead and munch this down bro i'm literally mastery one bro there, there's literally no purpose to this fruit but okay let me go ahead and get on a noob account and i'm gonna see if the noob account gets as good as luck as this account all right boys i'm joining on a different account and this account is a first account and it's actually my editor's account so sorry just general uh, you are one of my editors and i'm abusing you so i can make a video i'm so sorry and no you will never escape my basement so don't even ask but okay as you can see i'm level 98 but we're gonna go ahead and try to roll a fruit all right we have arrived we have arrived but let's go ahead and spin this fruit we're gonna see if his low level only level 98 account gets a better fruit than the dark fruit that i just rolled on a high level account all right blocks fruits gotcha give me something good random fruit buy oh wait oh my gosh wait I, I don't have enough money bro general you're broke all right i bought some robux on his account and let's go ahead and buy 135,000 belly would you like to buy 135,000 belly of course there we go earn 135k and okay now we can go ahead and make our way over here and go ahead and buy a fruit and see if we have better luck on a noob account like my editor's account or if we have better luck on my alt account would you like to buy a random fruit buy trade completed what do we get oh we got an ice fruit but boys am i gonna lie the ice fruit and the dark fruit are both pretty good fruits so i don't think that level actually matters when it comes to rolling good fruits and block fruits i really think that luck is actually more in uh in your favor but okay you know what general you are not getting this fire ice fruit i'm gonna drop it in the water bro why what what is going on with the map why is the sky freaking black bro what okay there we go it's fixed <laughs> all right but let's move on to the next myth which is apparently there is a way to uh have two different fruits activated at the same exact time so i'm assuming the way that you do this is let me see if you go ahead and uh take multiple fruits out of your inventory so if we take like just like all right we'll take like a flame fruit out of our inventory and then if we activate like uh, uh one of these ones where you can transform we'll try buddha okay so if we have our buddha move right here and then we try to eat a fruit will, will it let us oh wait we can interact with it what do you wish to do with this fruit eat can we do it oh bro it says air no okay so this one doesn't work let me see let me see with like another transformation if it'll let me do that which i guess technically what we did earlier in this video with like the uh with the diamond and the revive fruit is, is like kind of like that but uh i'm gonna see if i can do it with a different fruit all right i know you can transform with venom so we'll try it with venom now will i become a dragon that can shoot freaking a flame fruit fire okay Okay, boys but let's go ahead and use our transformation there we go all right now let's see dude 
Why is there, why is the flame fruit just in my stomach? It looks like I already ate it and it's in my stomach. All right, will it work? Dude, what do you wish to do with this fruit? Eat. No, it's not gonna let me. All right, boys, this myth has been proven as a cat. So, so yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that it's impossible. Although if you know a way how to do this, comment down, down below how, how you can do it. All right, boys, but this next myth is that uh apparently subscribing to stud gives you better fruit luck. All right, so I'm currently logged into my second account, Stud2, which just hit 100,000 subscribers. So thank you, boys. And let's go to my main channel right here. There we go. And let's hit that subscribe button. And uh, let's go ahead now and let's roll a fruit and see if this gave me any extra luck. All right, bro, Blocks Fruits Gotcha. I'm subscribed to Stud. Give me a good fruit. I know you want. Bruh. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, guys, look, I got, I got a dough fruit. Whoa, guys, you guys should all hit the subscribe button. All right, boys, but the next myth is that apparently there is a secret emote that you can get by equipping the katana and using its ability and uh, doing something like that. So let's try this out. All right, well, we're going to test this out. Let's see. Okay, do I have the katana? I don't even know. Okay, we do. There we go. And if this is what I think it is, um... <laughs> I may or may not have done this before. So wait, so you're supposed to, I think what you're supposed to do is have the Z move ready and then open your inventory and then unequip right as you're using the Z move. Did, is that how you, oh, it is how you do it. Oh wait, hold on. Is, wait, this is not how I remember it. This is, this is not how I remember it. Oh, did they fix it? All right, hold on. Let me, let me try this again. All right, quiet rush and then hit and equip. Okay, did, did it work? Did it work? Oh, oh, <laughs> Okay, guys, it definitely worked. It, it, it definitely worked, guys. <laughs> Whatever you guys do, do not use this forbidden emo, okay? It, do, do not do it. Bro, okay, how do I stop? Now, how do I stop? Bro, how do I stop doing this? Do I equip this? Do I have to do it? Oh, oh, wait, no! Oh, wait, okay, there we go. We fixed it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, but let's move on to the next myth, which is apparently you can change fruits mid-raid. So uh, let's go ahead and try this out. That means that you can use a different fruit at the beginning of the raid and then change your fruit, like, at the very end and get the points towards the fruit that you changed it to. If you know, you know. So, Mango, are you ready Are you ready to do a little raid with me? Where did you go, Dad? Didn't I tell you that I don't want to ever speak to you or see you ever again? Bro, all right, no, come here. Follow me. We're doing a raid. We're testing this myth. All right, Mango, we're going to start a raid. We're, we're going to be doing We're going to be doing a dull raid. Why don't any girls like talking to me? What do you mean? No girl. Maybe we should do a myth on that. Do girls just not like Mango Pool? All right, this is a dull raid. And as you can see, I have my light fruit enabled. Okay, but let's see. Let's see if I can change my fruit mid raid to dough okay let's, wait, let's go wait, ahead and equip. Bro, 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 son. dude guess what guess what just happened like a second ago what happened i just got a notification on my phone dude a girl texted me on snapchat bro that is a myth that myth is that is fake no it's not dude. guys I, should i, I prove that myth fake that that a girl did not snapchat mango pool <laughs> <laughs> but boys, as you can see, I was able to change my life fruit to my dull move. And uh, yeah, boys, we, we, this myth is proved as fact. You can change your fruit mid raid. But let's go ahead and, uh, and murder that goober first. Okay, hold on. There we You're go. Adopted. And boom. Boys, that means that if you really wanted to, you could just use Buddha to like uh, get through the raid like super quick. And then change your freaking fruit right at the very end, bro. That's actually clutch. So, yeah, I would say that this is a W myth. And this is actually going to come in handy for uh, future purposes. So, if you guys don't already use this to level up your stuff, uh, you should definitely be using it. All right, boys. So, the next myth on this list is uh, apparently you can fly forever with kilo fruit. So, let me try this out. All right, let's go ahead and eat this. There we go. <laughs> Blocks fruits kilo activated. Okay, so we all know about the 10,000 kg smash. We know about the 20,000 kg smash and the 50,000 kg smash, right? But there's also a move called lighten. And uh, let's see. Let's see if we can float forever and go infinitely high with this move. So yeah, look at this. I'm literally just looking down at the ground, bro. We're, we just keep getting higher and higher. And now we wait. <laughs> now we literally just wait to see if we can actually go super high with this. One minute later. Yo, we're actually getting kind of high, bro. I can barely see the ground anymore. Yo, I actually didn't expect this. I, I thought this umbrella would have broken by now. Yo, what is actually fueling this umbrella? Is it my farts, bro? Like, like what is making this umbrella go up? But boys, if we look down, we can barely see the map anymore. And it's starting to fade out of freaking existence. So boys, this myth, this myth is a fact. This one is not cat. All right, but now it is time for the last myth, which is apparently if you transform with your Buddha on lava, you 
you die. Like, there's no way around it. You just freaking die. So let's try this out. All right, we've made it to the lava. It's time to test this out. So obviously, as you can see, it does do damage uh, when we step on it. We literally did almost a quarter of our damage in like one second. But if we were to go ahead and equip our freaking boot of fruit, where is it? Okay, there it is. And then if we use shift on it, oh! It worked! Yo, that myth is not capped, dude. I definitely thought that that myth was about to be a cap, bro. But no, it, it literally, like, if you try to use shift on lava... So, like, let's say you're just on lava, you use shift really quick. You're dead! There's nothing you can do. You literally die! Bro, that's actually crazy. That's actually crazy. I did not expect that. All right, boys, but that was around 27 different myths in freaking Blocks Fruits. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. Like the video. Comment down some more myths down below. And, boys, help me get to 500k subscribers. We're getting so close. But anyways, boys, I will see you later. And adios.